Let's introduce you to some of the changes we've made in HTML5 boilerplate version 5.0. We've made a number of changes, including the addition of an editor config file, big improvements to the documentation, and updates for touch icons and Windows tile images. The HTML5 boilerplate's project goal is to provide a great baseline foundation for your web projects. And as such, we don't have sparkly features to ship, but as front-end development matures, we get to evolve and polish the bedrock some more. So for 5.0, we've dropped support for IE6 and 7. This resulted in removing all those IE conditional comments at the top of the HTML. Mm, so fresh, so clean. Of course, the dependencies are up to date. 5.0 ships with the latest versions of jQuery, Modernizer, and Normalize.css. We're also tracking some upcoming releases from them and we'll be updating promptly. As of version 5.0, the boilerplate will contain an editor config file. Editor config is meant to help developers define and maintain consistent whitespace handling between different editors and IDEs. We've specified some great defaults, but you can certainly customize it to match your team's whitespace preferences. The placeholder 404 page got a svelte redesign, much cleaner now. And now with 5.0, now is a great time to review the documentation. My personal favorite is the valuable research in this guide to extending. Now the change log has detail on every change that's new for 5.0. I suggest you give it a read. HTML5 boilerplate has been a big community effort for the past four and a half years. All contributions are very welcome. Just poke around the GitHub project and read the contributing guide. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone that opened and commented on tickets. We just hit a total of 1,000 valuable tickets this week. And thanks to the folks who submitted pull requests. HTML5 boilerplate would not be what it is without such a generous community. Special thanks also to Ketalin Marish, whose tireless work and research on HTML5 boilerplate and inside the community has undoubtedly improved the bedrock of front-end development. Thank you. Again, please enjoy the newest release of HTML5 boilerplate.